Good morning, Calvary family. My name is Howard Cooper. I'm the men's pastor here at Calvary. And happy Monday to you. Today we're going to be finishing up the book uh, of Mark chapter 8. And uh, it, it finishes up with Jesus admonishing the, the disciples as well as the crowd he called to him. If, you're, if you've got your Bibles, follow with me. Uh, starting at verse 34. And he called to the crowd and to his disciples, and he said to them, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. These, are, these can be really troubling words for us if we're, if we're not really sure what God's talking about. What, what did he mean? Did he mean that we're supposed to go out and nail wood together and, and make a cross and put on sackcloth and put on ash and, and walk around and denying ourselves of everything that, that he's created for us? I, I don't believe so. But he goes on to say, for whoever would, would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it. Still confusing words. What is he saying? Do, are we supposed to be martyred? Do we need, to, do we need to, to give up our lives for Christ? In a sense, we do. But to what degree? It's all about where we are in our faith and our walk. Are we there to, to uh, um, share our gospel? Absolutely. You are, you know, we are ambassadors for Christ. It's important that you know that, that we represent Christ. Once you, once you make that declaration as a believer in Christ, that as a follower, you are his ambassador. And it's important to know that everybody's watching us. And as we continue on through this, this life, that's where we're making that sacrifice. Do we deny ourselves of pleasures? No, they're, they're, there's way too much out there, but we don't want to be climbing the corporate ladder to gain everything in this world and to lose our own soul. And that's exactly what he writes in the next verse. He says, uh, continuing on with verse six, for what does it profit a man to gain into the whole world and forfeit his soul? For what can a man make or give in return for his soul? There's nothing we can do in return for our soul. It's all by the sacrifice of Christ. It's through him that we have our salvation. It's through grace that we're saved, okay? And knowing that, that's where we have, we have uh, a, sense of, a sense of relief that we don't have to press forward in, and to be that, that martyrdom that so often people believe that Christians are, and we're not. And he said, for whoever is ashamed of me uh, and of these words, adulterous words and sinful generation of him, the son of man will also be ashamed when he comes into his glory, the father and the holy angels. It's important to know that we do represent Christ and he is looking at us and that we, we do want to represent him in a right way as, as an ambassador for him. You know, he's not asking us to give up everything that he's, he's so bountifully provided for us, but it is important to know that that is the, the first goal is to make sure we're constantly sharing the good word. What did uh, Timothy say? 2 Timothy 4 verse 2 basically says to be ready in season and out of season to, to give an account and to share that word and to reprove and to reproach. It's really important that, that we think about that on a daily basis. When we're not ready, you know, you might be confronted by somebody that really needs to hear God's word. And we have that ability. We have that in us. The Holy Spirit is in us and we can share that. I want to leave you with a thought and, and a, a, a saying that I heard a while back from St. Francis of Assisi. He says, preach the gospel always, and if necessary, use words. Guys, hope you have a great day, and I hope this spoke to you, that it's not about giving up everything you you've thought you had to for Christ. It's about being that ambassador. Thank you, God bless you, and have a great day.